guys, Ty with Cincy Diesel Repair. Today I got a 2012 6.7. Uh, customer complaint is it's blowing um, coolant out of the coolant reservoir or degas bottles. You guys have heard me say it before. The truck's running fine, it doesn't overheat, it doesn't seem to be consuming coolant. Uh, I'm in the truck now. And it's got uh, 269,514 miles on it. So definitely some miles. Uh, I was kind of letting it warm up here. Because what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to diagnose this thing for blown head gaskets. And the idea behind this project is I'm going to do, if they're blown, I'm going to do head gaskets. Uh, with studs right here in my driveway no cab off engine in and I know we can pull the heads that way I've never done studs that way so it'll be a little bit of a learning uh, learning experience for me but hopefully my biggest point with this is that not only am I trying to squeeze this guy into the schedule and he doesn't really have time to, for this to sit for a month waiting for an extra lift to come up and so what I want to do is show that this can be done in the driveway for you guys out there who run into a, this situation where you blew the head gaskets on your 6.7 and you don't have a lift and there's no worse driveway than mine maybe unless you're on a hill I don't know but my gravel I've been trying to get gravel it's a long story but not enough gravel muddy I'm out in the elements so anything that I can do here you guys can do at your driveway um, let's go ahead I'm gonna shut this thing off well let me show you guys real quick the truck while it's running and it's of course getting ready to rain so this is a uh, I guess a six inch lift it's big, 37 inch tires, F350 XL, big truck. And the bad thing is the man just put a transmission in it or came from the transmission shop, I know that. And he said it was about 6,000 bucks. Now this truck is heavily tuned. So that's one thing to take into uh, consideration. Uh, no EGR cooler. One of the first things I asked them is, do you have an EGR cooler? If, if you're looking at your truck, it's going to look like a big square box mounted right here. His is, it does not have that. It's been deleted. Um, that's the only other real possible way you're going to get pressure into the cooling system. But even that, normally if you have a crack EGR cooler, it's going to suck the coolant out and burn it. So this secondary circuit is run over to your uh, uh, watered air cooler so your it, it cools your uh, boosted or your charged air coming from your turbo and it comes back out this tube which is normally plastic and they break so this one's been updated uh, of course it's got aftermarket intake uh, this is the disaster prevention kit, which I'm glad to see because when the CP4s blow up That helps to catch All the debris the, the shrapnel that comes out of there Helps to save your injectors and lines and everything If you don't have that on your 6.7 get it uh, that one's from s and I know Several places make them There's also now uh, fleece makes a kit that uh, replaces these factory fuel filters because these will crack right here and they'll spray diesel fuel and next thing you know you got an engine fire so fleece makes an aluminum top where a metal filter can screw on to fix that issue I also notice the crankcase breather on this truck's been replaced um, if you have a factory crankcase breather you're not sure if yours has been replaced if it's the original one it'll have a sticker right here that shows the injector codes uh, 
one through eight. That's the coding of the injectors we have to put in the computer. So if you have a sticker there and it shows eight and some number one through eight and it shows some numbers, that's the original crankcase breather. It's a good idea to change them. Uh, let's check blow by while we're here. It's got it. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess it's what I would expect from a 270,000 mile tune truck on 37s that's used for work. Um, it's not the end of its life or anything. Oh, I got the cap loose here. So I did drive this truck down the road the other day and I think I put four miles on it before it started blowing cooling out. I mean, it was all over. It was dripping down the springs, the suspension, it was up on the hood, and I wasn't beating on anything. The radiator hoses were hard as a rock. The owner did this, uh, which was a good idea. He teed in to this factory fitting here and made this nice and long work and running in the cab and read how much pressure. I didn't mess with it. Uh, I think he said he was getting uh, I think over 20 pounds of pressure, which is way too much. These caps let go at 16 PSI, and he did replace the cap too, and that didn't fix it. So now what I'm going to do is, this is a test kit. You can get this on eBay, I think, or uh, Amazon, and uh, I think now most of the... Uh, auto stores are selling it but it's got oh it's in here that's the ball it's called the block tester this brand is and uh there's instructions it's got this thing with this little line uh there it is it tells you where to fill the fluid level which is that test fluid it's a dark blue purplish fluid um and then basically what you do is you're going to stick it in the top of your uh, cool it bottle and just squeeze repeatedly for like 10 minutes if you have to uh, Sometimes it takes longer sometimes it doesn't uh, And if that if this dye detects any exhaust gas Diesel or gasoline, it's gonna turn from purple to a clearish green color So let me go fill it up. I keep this fluid in my toolbox uh, because it, it's best to keep it out of the light. It works better. It stays better longer. It doesn't seem to last very long. It doesn't, you know, it's not good for a year after you buy it. So let me go fill this up. It's starting to rain pretty good. Go fill this up and see if we can catch it on camera when it uh, turns green. All right. So here's the color of the fluid, like a purple. I put it in here. You want to make sure you get a pretty good seal. But then you're just going to pump it. And it depends on how big of an issue you have. Now, this truck could have a cracked head. Uh, we had that problem a lot in the 2011s, not so much in the 2012s. Um, so I keep saying head gaskets, but it, it could be a cracked head. Either way, the heads are going to have to come off. Uh, and either way, they're going to go back on with studs because that's what he wants. So I'm just going to sit here for about five, ten minutes doing this and see if we get any color change. I'll bring you guys back when we do, but this is the procedure. Okay, so there we go. It didn't take but a few minutes after, maybe two minutes after I turned the camera off. And you can see it went from a dark purple to like a clearish green color. So uh, that to me means blown head gaskets or cracked heads. Either way, heads are coming off. We're gonna do it right here in the driveway. You guys are gonna get to see it. It is gonna have to be a multiple part series, obviously, because I'm gonna show you how to tear this thing completely apart. Uh, we're gonna check the rockers and other things if you guys haven't seen my video on uh, On the rocker arms 
going bad on these early model 6.7s, then uh, you're, you're going to see it on this one. And I'm sure I just made all kinds of noise rustling this camera around trying to get out of the rain, but I absolutely hate being in the rain. So anyway, guys, please like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. It's really helping now that I actually know how to get paid for these videos. Um, I'm hoping in the future to bring you some projects. Uh, I'd like to do a 6-4, you know, built down, or tore down and built back my way, see if we can make it last. Uh, multiple things I'd like to do. So you guys subscribing and liking, uh, that's going to give me the ability to maybe bring some projects to the channel other than just these repairs, even though I know these repairs help. So thank you guys again. Stay tuned for the teardown. Catch you guys later.